Sadly, the Ivor 4 seems to be on its way out with the dodgy motor or something, but it has stopped. A little bit of a nudge, hopefully it'll run and survive the review. There's the GBL. I might need to speed this up actually, it's a bit painful. But as you can see, the Stovars are staying on the track. Yeah, let's go speed that Ivor up, because that's uh, died again. Let's give it another nudge. Yeah, that's not very happy. I think that motor might be on the way out. Full speed on the uh, controller. And as you can see, the motor has burnt out. That is really foul smelling smoke actually. That really, really unpleasant. But there's plenty of it coming, so I thought I'd get it on video. The Ivor 4 has died. It is a sad, sad day. Is it particularly hot? No, not really. Not really hot, no. Anyway, that is, I think that's well and truly dead. So, uh, right, let me find another loco to put on. Bit of an update for you folks on the Ivor 4. I've got it here on the workbench. Um, I'm filming this after the review, but uh, that, that was my chair, not me. <laughs> uh, there's the body on the uh, side there. That was an absolute pain in the backside to get off. I'm trying to choose my language nicely there. Um, but I don't think it's the motor that's gone because if you look here, what appears to be a cap on the DCC board or capacitor uh, appears to have gone brown and it wasn't brown before and it doesn't look brown in any of Backman's images and there's also lots of brown liquid or gooey stuff all over the board so I'm going to guess that's the dielectric or whatever it's called from the capacitor. I might be wrong. Um, but either way it's not very nice and if we have a look at the blanking plug here you can see that this thing has clearly had a lot of high current going through it and all that gooey shiny stuff that you can see there reflecting in the light is not oil that is sort of brownie gooey stuff so I'm guessing that must be the dielectric from the capacitor so my guess is that either the capacitor just happens to have failed and uh, put dielectric stuff everywhere um, or maybe the motor has failed, but it doesn't seem to. It's nice and free of, on the uh, on the worm. But maybe that's failed and drawn too much current through the cap. I'm not too sure. Either way, there's been a lot of current or voltage. I think probably current through uh, <laughs> through this thing because it looks absolutely knackered. Um, and if I get you a proper one from my drawer of odds and sods, one moment. Okay, this is one that hasn't died. You can see the difference there. Uh, it's quite uh, quite pronounced. So yeah, I think there might be uh, a bit of an electrical problem with it. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, also, if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to get the body off, let me know, because it is an absolute nightmare to do. But um, yeah, so we've had a bit of a failure, and um, I'll probably put some on a community tab about it. Anyway, that is just a bit of an update on the Ivor 4.